It translates again to this ethics of uh, openness on the internet, of tolerance, of communication. And this is one of these core values that can be threatened uh, when you begin to impose what we would jokingly call layer 8, that means uh, human and organizational instead of just technical uh, restrictions on what can flow on the network. Uh, it can start with things like, that come from the corporate world, like network neutrality discussions, which again have to be defined more precisely, but what basically you mean is an ISP, an internet services provider, should not privilege their own products being sent over the network. If you have an ISP that also is allied with a television company, you should not be making your television content go over uh, others uh, uh, because you own the network. You should be, uh, li li let's say you should say all packets are equal. Uh, these constraints can also come from going back from the internet's open model to uh, the more traditional network model, which is uh, what I would call the owned network model. The traditional model of a telco which owns the network, owns the cables, owns the switching equipment, and it even used to own the telephone, the terminal, the, the, the user's terminal. Uh, going back to that model happens again and again, at least it tries to happen. People try to make it happen through things like the NGN model, the new generation network. And one of the tricks that we must not fall for is uh, everything that is called new may actually be a personification of the old. Everything that's called change may actually be changed backwards. And we have to look very carefully from the internet point of view that we really continue this innovation, openness, uh, tradition, communication to more and more communities, bridging the digital divide, allowing smaller companies and smaller uh, civil society organizations to take the roles that have been mentioned by the previous speakers, and not let this be crushed by constraints uh, that are artificially built into the technology or plain just operated without being inbuilt, but uh, in, in, in a combination of what Larry Lessig fundamentalists would call a combination of code and law.